Well, him free. Tonight we dine in hell. Tonight in the Humphrey, we die in hell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are very excited because Knotts has just announced something new. And we want you guys to see the trailer, the excitement we were feeling as watching this trailer because it really got me excited. So here is the trailer for Knotts' newest maze. Come over here. Stop crowding me. Okay. Off. Yeah, not much in here. I feel like someone's watching us. Guys, check that out over there. Don't touch that. Hey, don't be a wuss. You guys, we really need to go. Oh, check this out. Put that back now. Uh-oh. Long ago, after bringing light into the darkness, our family separated across the vast lands, wading in the shadows. Protecting. Hunting. That was until we got word of his dark return. Our eternal brothers and sisters began to fall, as did our glorious kingdom of Aldonia. And the blood of our human brethren we have sworn to protect began to flow in the streets. We now know our final stand has come. It is time to reunite the clans. We begin our fight, for their army grows each day and the screams come with each nightfall. But as the night falls, by our eternal oath, so shall their bloody corpses. Heed the call, raise your banners. We shall enter glorious battle and bring honor to our clans. Our blades sharp, our weapons ready, we shall come together Bathe in the blood of the damned and seize victory as we drive the stake into the heart of the king himself. Bound by blood, bound by honor, we shall bring light into the dark once and for all. Blood and blessings. Bloodline 1842 coming to Knott's Scary Farm. I'm very excited for this maze. I know you are. But before we talk about any of our excitements, any of our, you know, any behind the scenes or anything, let's read what it's about. Blood and blessings. In an all-new Knott's Scary Farm maze, Bloodline 1842, you'll be armed with the latest Bellatorian weaponry. Heed the call to action as you embark on a perlacious journey with the immortal daybreakers as you travel through the busy city streets of Valdonia while hunting the bloodthirsty Valhemfri in an all-out war. Bring light into the darkness and survive the vicious onslaught of vampires and bring honor to your order. Honor that, to I mean, your it, order. It's just, just hearing that, okay, for starters. When we watch the trailer, we're, we're, we're seeing someone is giving three different vampires yeah i'm visualizing it keep going like a scroll right so we're assuming this scroll has some information that we are going to need going into said maze is it the necronomicon the necronomicon is the book of the dead and that's evil dead so wrong 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 universe wrong universe but anyway so we're seeing three different vampires in three different states of kind of living at the moment one of them's in a bar it looks like to be like a bar sitting alone um, the second one. Where was the second one at? It's I I, I watched the trailer earlier this morning, so I'm a little. Yeah, you're you're talking to the wrong guy. I watched this while I was working, and today has not been the day. I think so. the second one was somewhere, uh, somewhere kind of like maybe public or something. I don't remember. I, all I remember is the third one, who was a badass chick. You may know her. I know her. Friend um, of the channel. Part not part of the channel, but it's a good. No friend, friend of the ch friend of the channel. Friend, friend of, of the, the channel. channel. There you go. Um, a good friend of a friend that I know. Um, who's training like she's about to fucking rip somebody's head off, and 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 I can really contest to that. She is really like that in real life, so don't fuck with her. Um, she's a badass. And she was really cool in that trailer, uh, and I think that I'm. I think her.
part alone got me really stoked. That's what sold it for me right there. After watching that entire trailer, kind of like the build up, uh, and then after all three of these vampires together, which I believe they're probably part of the same order, together with their hunting gear, just to, just to see all this stuff was phenomenal, and I am super stoked. Vampires are back at Not Scary Farm in a big way with its own maze. On top of all that, this is getting the special ops treatment. With a gun, you'll be walking through the cities of, uh, what was it? I already forgot. The Baldonia. Name. No, that's the name. That's the name of the group that we're hunting. No, it says oh, travel Valdonia, through the Uralia. busy city streets of Valdonia. Val Hemphrey is the group that we're hunting. Valdonia. Uh, no, Val Hemphrey, I think, is the big bad that you see at the end of the trailer. I think. He doesn't look that scary. Well, maybe in person he'll be a little bit maybe more scary. Maybe he will. Maybe it was some like fucking Van Helsing turning into like the, the ultimate at the end. Bro, what if he comes down? And then like Freebird a... starts playing? And oh, then... bro. <laughs> best maze all time, no matter what. Freebird starts playing. So, I oh, mean, you were just going out in a shootout, bro. That's bro, some, it could that's be uh, it, it could be Black Walls, Val Hemphrey coming down the... And then Freebird's playing? Either Freebird or Master Puppets. I'll take either one. Anyway. Bloodline 1842 marks the return of vampires and not scary farm. Uh, vampires have always been, uh, there's been a couple in ghost town that you've seen. Um, but this is the first time since, uh, since a while, um, that I believe since 2014, since they've actually done a vampire maze. You would know um, better than me. Uh, I don't know history. For so anything. I am super stoked to see this. Uh, it's getting the special ops treatment. It should be a lot of fun. Now, there's been a lot of people back and forth about like, oh, this one maybe should have gotten the special ops treatment. It's probably going to be designed really well. But very excited for it. You know, I've heard a lot of things today. I think regardless, if you're a diehard Knots fan and you're going to go a lot, you're going to catch a lot of the details eventually. Sammy and I are still seeing stuff from Origins we've never seen in the past. And that maze yeah. is now going to be on its third year. So... Yeah, no, I definitely agree that, uh, like, I definitely think it's been a polarizing from what I've, I've been seeing uh, uh, and, and my brief endeavors into the uh, social media world today. I definitely think it's been a polarizing thing. Some people are like, oh, sick, can't, I'm excited to see Special Ops Which come back. I think it's kind of, it's not us seeing Special Ops come back, it's us seeing a vampire maze with Special Ops technology. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think the technology coming back, people are excited about that. But then other people are like, man, I think this maze is going to be really good um, and that it's going to take away from the scenic value. Um, but I definitely think the it's the one thing I would say is probably going to suck is the line. Because I know yeah. that Special Ops, if you didn't get there early, you were going to get a two and a half hour you line. You were going to wait in a line, yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely one of those mazes I want to hit early and hit often. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and I just want to enjoy it. Like, I definitely think like, um, especially cause both Tony and I are planning to go to knots multiple times. I definitely think that sometimes like, you know, maybe one or one or two of the go rounds is going to be, Hey, I'm going to try to beat you in the score. You're going to beat me in the score. Loser has to buy you. Um, oh, we've done that in the past too, with special ops. So it's, it's a lot of fun. If you yeah, have any friends, like, like if you guys want to up the ante in this maze, like to make it even more fun for your party that night, place a bet. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you're losers buying punch, losers buying funnel cake, whatever it is. Yeah, for real. Um, so you know, I definitely think we're gonna have a couple of those go those go rounds, but I definitely think like myself, maybe I'll be playing with you know the gun, but I'm still gonna I I want to enjoy it because I from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing is this is going into the quote unquote backlog. I forget what they call it. Um, this is going in the old paranormal location. Yeah, the old paranormal location. I don't know what they call it. That that like where those four uh, names. I are. call it Gypsy Camp. Yeah, Gypsy Camp. So it's going in Gypsy Camp. From what we can see, is that f the they are extending that maze a lot. Um, and I'm hearing that we're going to get A side, B side um, in terms of walkthroughs. So, so I'm definitely so going to want to walkthroughs. Yeah, so I definitely want to hit that multiple times to hit both sides of the walkthrough and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but I, I definitely think it's going to be super sick. Um, vampires are always cool. Um, I, the one vampire maze I went into. At Nos was back in '09 when they did Club Dread, I believe that's Club what it was Blood. called. Club Blood, I'm sorry, yeah, Club Blood, um, which is super sick. Um, and the other thing that made me really excited is you watch this and you get a to be continued. Oh, um, which means like I definitely have, I've heard the rumblings that we're getting something in the Mystery Lodge, whatever that is, I don't know. Um, but I definitely think that we could be getting an, another announcement next week, which is super exciting. Um, and I. We're almost about about five, six weeks away from the event, so 
I'm eager to see when those tickets go on sale. I mean, listen, Monday, August 15th. Is that official? That is official. That came from Knotts. That was one of I the first that. things they announced when they when they started the announcements that tickets would go on sale August 15th. Um, okay, cool. So, so I'm definitely having to go drop some mad I'm money. I'm definitely going to have to be chatting with Joe Netty, be like, this is the birthday present right here. Um, so yeah, I, no. we're doing the first two nights, right? For yeah, sure. For sure, yeah. That's for sure. That's where they, that's where our favorite energy is at, right there, man. No, no, yeah, yeah. I like. There's a couple different. There's a couple different times I like to go. I like to go one of the last Saturdays because that crowd is uh, fun to watch. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it's fun. It's. I've heard it's not fun to scare in, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> so. Uh. I definitely. You know, that's a that's a time where we're definitely going to spend some more time in the zones. Right. Uh, but early. But this. The, those first couple times we're gonna. Um, Dude. Hit. Uh, let me tell you in all seriousness right here, man. I mean, listen, this is going to be another great one. Uh, oh, we, yeah, we, were, yeah. we were spoiled in, in 2019 when we got Origins and Waxworks, right? Yeah. And then they tied the whole event around that Origins storyline. We were then spoiled again at its return in 2021 when we got the Goring 20s and Mesmer. Two fantastic pieces to the Knott's Scary Farm family. Mesmer, a mindfuck of its own. That's a great maze. Goring 20s, phenomenal job with what all those scare actors did in there. I mean, they really brought the world of the 20s alive and that world of, of the uh, the cursed Alexa and everything. I thought that was Special amazing. shout out to Fred Cobb, if you know, you know. Fred Cobb. Special shout out to Betty Boop. She knows who she is. Um, 2022, how do we come back even bigger? We continue to keep adding and building towards that 50th anniversary. Then bringing up Bloodline 1842 and another unannounced new maze. I mean, this is going to be a solid year at Not Scary Farm. I feel like me and you are going to have 2019 vibes again. And yeah. I, it, it wasn't that I didn't have that last year. It just it felt a bit different being back. So it was taking me a while to adjust. But I think you and I are going to have some 2019 vibes going into 2022 haunt season. And I am super stoked for Knots. This is right now my most anticipated maze of all of haunt season for 2022. Well, and just speaking over the season in general... I, I, I'm feeling a lot of buzz this season and a yeah. lot of excitement. I definitely think we've gotten some really cool announcements over at HHN. Yeah. Uh, and, and some things that are still like being speculated over at HHN. Lyrona, you, you know, if you know, you know. Yeah. Um, um, and, and then you're telling me we got this announcement from Knots uh, for Bloodline 1842. And we're going to get something else next week. Um, I mean, I, I can it, when is like I need September twenty second to come. I need yeah. to I need to see that opening. I need to see the fog, um, and I, I'm just excited. Like I'm hopefully that night on the twenty second. Hopefully we can get two, maybe three walkthroughs of this thing. Um, but, you know, try to hit both sides. Um, and you know, shameless plug here. If you do want to see that content, go ahead and hit that bell notification so you can get alerted because we are going to be posting. Uh, walkthroughs of this maze. I gotta bring out the GoPro POV. I was for about that to one. say that you're gonna yeah, get the GoPro it's a, POV. It's been a minute since we had the GoPro, but we should bring it back out just specifically for that maze. You're gonna get the you're getting the the, the FPS GoPro. Yeah. Uh, and we'll do a walkthrough with just the camera, and you can look around the scenic wise while maybe Sammy's playing the game or something. You'll get multiple POVs of that, and we want to make sure you get the best content from that. Yeah, definitely. And, and we're already on fire. I definitely think uh, Haunt Season is in full swing. Uh, yes. We've definitely got a lot of great content coming out of, from uh, Midsummer Screen. A lot of great walkthroughs that that we both Tony and I really enjoyed. So go ahead and hit, watch yeah. those because the work that they did was bone up yeah. heat. Ladies and gentlemen, the the idea behind us releasing the Hall of Shadows weeks in leading into Haunt Season is so you can watch some of these maze POVs and kind of get yourself stoked for Haunt Season overall. A lot of these people, like Sammy said, spent a lot of great time uh, putting these together and they were all phenomenal in their own ways. Um, so we want to release these POVs uh, like once, once you know, one or two a week. That way you can kind of get yourself hyped leading up to HHN opening night, leading up to Not Scary Farm opening night, whatever haunt it may be. We want to get you guys hyped and in that kind of state of mind, like how we've been in the last couple of months, in the last couple of weeks here. We're just excited. So I'm excited. Knott's is going to come out with another banger of a maze this year. I, there's not one bad maze at this event, honestly, for me. I like them for all their own reasons. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely think uh, that the, the mazes uh, that are there already are, are, are top-notch and 
like a little part of me was a little sad because uh, I, I was really hoping those guns were going to make their way to dark entities um, eventually. But You're I don't hope that flashlights were going to make them ways to paranormal. Yeah, uh, but I, I don't foresee that happening now. But uh, nonetheless, super excited. Bloodline 1842 is going to be 10 out of 10. You heard it here. That, that is uh, not a prediction. That is a spoiler. Spoiler. Um, but real excited. Um, go ahead and drop down a comment below about what you're most excited for thus far that's been announced at Knots and, and what your thoughts are um, on this uh, announcement here of Bloodline 1842. Um, and if you like that video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With the bell notification viewer every time we put up a video. There we go. Um, so, yeah, Knots, keep it up. We're excited to see what you announce next week. And I, I'm pretty sure I could just say that now because it has been on a weekly basis, but we're excited. Well, the, the thing said to be continued, so yeah. I, I'm pre I, I'm pretty confident. We've had yeah. four four weeks in a row of we'll, Wednesdays. We'll get week, so yeah, we'll, we'll, get see, week we'll five. see what you release next. Watch next week's gonna be on Thursday. They're gonna give us the curveball there. But, yeah, it's it's gonna be on a Saturday. They're gonna announce the weekend too. Yeah, the weekend uh, the weekend to Electric Boogaloo. Um, Let's go. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is gonna be a good one. We're excited. We can't wait to see that. With all that being said, I'm Anthony. I'm Sam. And we are the Knights of Horror. Five years covering your fears, man. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you in Peace. the fog. Val Hemfrey. Tonight we dine in hell. Tonight in Val Hemfrey, we die in hell. Uh-oh. Long ago, after bringing light into the darkness, our family separated across the vast lands, wading in the shadows, protecting, hunting. That was until we got word of his dark return. Our eternal brothers and sisters began to fall, as did our glorious kingdom of Aldonia and the blood of our human brethren we have sworn to protect began to flow in the streets. We now know our final stand has come. It is time to reunite the clans. We begin our fight, for their army grows each day and the screams come with each nightfall. But as the night falls, by our eternal oath, so shall their bloody corpses. Heed the call, raise your banners, we shall enter glorious battle and bring honor to our clans. Our blades sharp, our weapons ready. We shall come together, bathe in the blood of the damned, and seize victory as we drive the stake into the heart of the king himself. Bound by blood, bound by honor, we shall bring light into the dark once and for all.